new hotness. Old and busted, new hotness. Old and busted, new hotness. Old and busted, new hotness. AKA Hatters, welcome to Philadelphia, PA. Home of the Eagles, home of the current Super Bowl losers, but holy crap, what a amazing night, what an amazing experience. The whole march into the Super Bowl. People, I love football to the marrow of my bones. I feel like at this point it is in my DNA. I feel like if I if I had a child, I would, I would inject that kid with, with football enthusiasm without even ever bringing it up. So, speaking of enthusiasm, but hey, look, I'm a single guy trying to raise a cat in the city of brotherly love. Can I get a like? Can I get a comment? Can I get a, like a thumbs up? Hit that subscribe button button show your support anyway so we're talking the flash movie we're talking flashpoint we're talking these trailers that dropped we had an um, awful transformers rise of the machine trailer we had a face x trailer there was of course flashpoint uh, i think i'm uh, guardians of the galaxy volume three but that was like a preview to a trailer they wanted you to hit the website for that that's a total dislike, uh, Marvel Studios. That's a misstep. Uh, so, uh, so we got this. Like, I was debating like all day. What are we gonna talk about? What what video are we dropping for the AKA Patters? And again, I let things fester on social media, and I, and I check all the platforms, like Ozzy Mendez. I'm watching all the screens, and I kept seeing this love affair with. Michael Keaton and Batman and he's back and they they have the Batwing and they have the original Batmobile and Ben Affleck is wearing the original colors you know the, the not the original no like the blue and the gray and people people seem to like that and it's just so funny that growing up when Kenner toys like during the Dark Knight collection look it up they, they did all these versions of Batman, like Deep Dive Batman, Laser Batman, the list went on and on, Pop-Tart Batman, and people hated that. They hated how commercial and how quickly they, they turned the knob for that character, and he literally just became like a color swap with some new accessories, and already then, it wasn't authentic. And it just, you know, like it rubbed this man's rhubarb the wrong way. Not just me. I'm repeating a lot of the commentary from back in the day. But then, like, what happens is characters like Batman, even the Hulk. Uh, technically, you can even argue Doctor Strange at this point. Spider-Man. Every single major character has, like, a universe of characters. But they're not supporting characters. Like, a great example of this. If, if you watch the 90s Iron Man animated show cartoon it's on disney plus it's one of my favorites but they do the supporting characters like full speed and the supporting characters are not the family of characters there's a there's a split between the two a family of characters is just infinite iterations of the same thing and batman is like totally guilty of that at this point but no one now seems to care see when we had the iterations with Kenner, people were like, this is just bad. B-A-D. And, and we're out. We're out like a fat kid in dodgeball. But we get Michael Keaton who, look, people, people, Michael Keaton is 71 years old. There is, it, there's no grounds for this. There's no grounds to ever have him return. And there's zero, there's zero evidence why you should be excited of a 71 year old being paraded the way he is because we how what what do you trust that character to do he's seven this is the the same as uh, the indiana jones 5 argument we these old nostalgia these old people these guys are vintage they're retro they have to go they they're just destroying what these movies could be and i understand there's like this this idea of like oh they're back. It's glorious. It's glorious that that Hamilton's back in Terminator. It's glorious that they keep literally resurrection 
re resurrecting Arnold Schwarzenegger for a Terminator something as if Sch Schwarzenegger's name to Terminator is so tarnished and broken it doesn't even matter if he's if he's ever connected to the franchise again and it's like th this idea that we need to go to the past and import the past to here and somehow act enthusiastic, act uh, vibrant about it. And what we should be doing is, and this this is this is so glaring to me, is that if we like, if we love just like like the ideas and the aesthetic and almost like you know we can make the argument of what it represents. Eighty nine Batman. The sequel, Batman Returns. If, if we are truly in love with that, and we want to preserve it and go back to it, you have to make it a period piece. Meaning, it's always that time. It's always that moment. It's always this stretch. Now, what they're going to do is they're they're going to like somehow like fast forward, and it's going to be almost like a real time sequel, a real time look at that world. Who? What's that? In the Michael Keaton Batman world, okay, and it wasn't until Batman Forever that we actually had a, uh, you know, Metropolis reference and a Superman reference, but the Keaton, the Keaton ones, he's solo. He's the only guy in that world, he's the only guy in that city. His only contemporary that we can hold on to is Catwoman, period. And don't be surprised if he's married to Catwoman in some way, in some way, but in this movie, like even the idea that there's an alternate Superman that they ripped from the New 52 in Flashpoint, but he's there. She's in the 89 Batman universe, and it's just like, look, I I get it, but we it, just collectively we have to move on. These ideas are old and stale. And if you're enthusiastic, if you're excited about it, it means you're you're just like you're you're like a non-player character, NPC, and you're just being spoon-fed what to be excited about. And believe it or not, you're part of the problem. You are the problem if you're ever excited for a 71-year-old reprising an action star role, because that's primarily what the 89 Batman movie is. It's an action movie. It's an action movie. And now, now we're going to, we no new hotness. We're getting old and busted. And it's frustrating from here, from Philadelphia, PA. <laughs> AKA Patters. I need to know your thoughts on this. I need to know, I, am I just being nuts? Well, we, well, technically we know I'm nuts, but okay, everyone, Happy Monday. I love you all. Uh, maybe today, too, we'll get two video drops. I have to do a another bibliography update that should be the next video. Until then, I love you guys. I literally, I love you guys so much. There's so many of you at this point that I'm grateful for. And if you drop a comment or message me on one of the social media apps, please bear with me. I'm behind now on three deadlines <laughs> and, and I'm negotiating a website that's kind of like all go and no quit and I would have to move very fast on that website. So bear with me if I haven't responded, bear with me if you pop into any of my live streams and I'm just slow in just going back and forth with you. I try and comb and check every single message when I wake up today, but the more messages I get, you know, again, it's, it elongates the process, but I gotta say, thank you so much. I love you. And we are building this AKA pad army. These battle lines, these battle lines are here and they're now, who's with me? Let's go, let's go to war together. I love you guys, rock and roll. <laughs>